and just went and did it. After the astronaut tests, Janora Jessen went on to what she remembers as her dream job. She spent the summer of 1962 as one of the three musketeers flying cross-country on a promotional tour for beach aircraft. Today, at 61, Jessen still flies an occasional air race and recalls her small part in putting women into space. You do feel a connection. You feel like you had your finger just a little tiny bit in the pie. There have been a lot of changes, and uh, so maybe we made uh, a tiny contribution. We enjoy a level of credibility, of respect and acceptance that we would not have but for those women. And they fought every inch of the road ahead of us to enable us to enjoy what we have now. To want to fly is something that human beings, male and female, have aspired to since the dawn of civilization. It is a human desire, not a male desire. Women were eager to go up in those airplanes. They weren't always encouraged, but there was the same sense of adventure, the sense of freedom, the sense of slipping the surly bonds of Earth. Those are not desires of men or women. Those are human desires. From Harriet Quimby's first flight in 1910, women pilots have worked hard to win equality in the skies, a quest that has inspired dreams, conquered fears, and stoked adventures, all ingredients necessary to go in search of history.